Hello everyone, this is Shumita Rai from Indian Folk and in this video I'm going to talk about this very important issue, the oxygen crisis in India. We all know that the world since December 2019 is fighting against this unique enemy. The opponent is unseen, unpredictable and can bow from anywhere. The hues in cries alarm us and the increasing number of people infected by this second wave of coronavirus has made us vulnerable. It is tragic to see how people are dying due to shortage of oxygen cylinders and oxygen supplies. If this sheer uh, scarcity of oxygen can make us so miserable, can we imagine a time when the air or the atmosphere itself will be oxygen deficient? In a recent study named as the future lifespan of the Earth's oxygenated atmosphere, it is revealed that one billion years from now, the Earth's atmosphere will have a very little amount of oxygen. It is predicted that the sun's temperature will rise and because of which the absorption of the heat capacity by the CO2 gas will increase and which will result in the breakdown of the gas itself and this will eventually affect the photogen uh, photosynthetic plants and as a result the oxygen level in the atmosphere will get affected and now we know not only deforestation but the increase in the solar radiations is also an important factor that disturbs the environmental balance Adding to this, the emerging pollution in the ocean water is also an important uh, reason for such ecological imbalance. We must know that about 50 to 80 percent of the oxygen comes from oceanic planktons. So, the very existence of human is dependent on plants, both on water as well as on land. Due to uh, increase in the population and all the increase in the exploitation it is predicted that there will be shortage of water there will be shortage of food and now the distress of lack of oxygen is also added in the list we cannot shed all the responsibilities over government to do all the tasks to save our planet we as the responsible consumer of the earth's valuable resources we must take steps to save our planet. Although all plants uh, should be given equal importance, but uh, it's advisable that those plants having the capacity to exhale most amount of oxygen should be planted or given priority in plantation. We in India are blessed with people tree. It exhales oxygen gas throughout day and night. Apart from this, Banyan tree, Neem, Arjuna, Saptaparni, Jamun, Kadi, all these plants are known to be very good air purifiers and can act as boon if we plant them. Since a huge amount of oxygen on earth comes from oceans, so we must take vital steps to make sure that the pollutants level in ocean stays minimal. Full efficient vehicles must be used for marine transportation and industries must take necessary actions to avoid ocean dumping. It severely affects the ocean water and also the living organisms there in ocean. The science and technology have grown enough to find solution to such problems. The only thing we need is a spark within ourselves to protect and preserve our earth. The prevailing calamities, the prevailing crisis, bloods, earthquakes, all this are a mere call to the humanity to take action to preserve the mother earth. We must join hands together to preserve our earth and make it a sustainable place for our next generation to thrive upon and breathe freely and even for now at present to survive. This brings me to the end of this video. For more such updates, do visit indianfolk.com 
and follow our Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.